All right, since we're talking about user interface, we want to, to make our app really nice. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and add a an image background here too. Okay, so that it gives it a little bit of uh, pizzazz, if you will. So there's a lot of places where you can get images. Um, but one of the places that I like to go uh, to get very high quality and nice images is unsplash.com. These are free images to use. You can use for whatever you want to use them. But as you can see here, once you download these happen, it says say thanks. Right? Crediting isn't required, but is appreciated and allows photographers to gain exposure. So if you use these images, any of these images, on this website, please say thank you or um, embed the credit page into your applications. Okay, that's a nice thing to do. And we should always strive to be good people to do the right thing. Okay, so as I said, like I said, uh, you can download any image that that you like, I went ahead and just got this one here, I downloaded it. And then what I did, I said I went and called this tiny panda go to tiny panda website what tiny panda website does it compresses or makes images smaller in size because once when you get images from this website and splash they are high quality but they are also large and because we're talking about android development mobile development we want to make sure that our images are smaller in size so that way they don't bug down our app because if, if we have too many two megabytes three five megabyte images that's not good for our application okay because it takes time for them to be loaded and so forth so it's always a good idea to use the tiny png it's a very cute panda you just drop your image here and in a few seconds you will be asked to download the second version of that image which is going to be smaller size okay there we go you have another tool under your belt very cool. All right, so I already have done that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that image that I have already uh, downloaded and I'm going to add it to our drawable here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me you have to copy actually. And paste it in, put in the first drawable. And I'm going to say, okay, there we go. So we have our image there. So let's go ahead to inside of our user interface text design here okay image at the top i'm going to say background and i'm going to say drawable oh, there we go our binary xml file line zero error inflating constraint what must be the problem maybe we made a little mistake somewhere okay let me get rid of this and see if this is going to persist let's run So all is running except when we run, when we add the background. Okay, so while I'm there, let me delete this JPEG here. I'm gonna add the PNG that we just created, just to make sure. Things like this happen for us, folks. And so we just have to roll with it. And I'm gonna leave it all here as it is so that you understand that development is this. This is how this is what developers do. Things don't work sometimes and we have to work through it. There's no magic button, folks. I'm sorry to report that. Okay, so things are okay now. Let me go ahead and add a background. I say background, drawable image as such. Let's see if this works. If this works, then we know that JPEG was faulty. Ah, and we are still having some issues. Perhaps, let's go back to Let's try something real quick here. Let's add the background color. Such and save and run and see if this is going to work. Okay, so color is all good. No problem. So what I'm going to do. All right, so we have a problem with this image here. I'm going to test add a different image just to see. Let's add this, oops, add this second image here, just to see, I'm going to say background, again, we investigating here, I'm going to use the 
motivation background. Let's save this, give it a quick run. Okay, so it seems like we have an issue with our image. No problem. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change, take this image here, okay, and I'm going to change the size because currently that image is too big. So I'm suspecting that might be the problem. So I'm going to go do that just real quick. All right, so I did some magic here. I went ahead and actually changed the image size. So I open again my photo editor. So the image size I'm talking about here is the width and height. The original one, 4,000 by 6,000 or something. So it was really large. So I actually made it 1,000 by 900 or something. And so it's smaller in size, okay? And that's another thing that we probably need to make sure we do whenever we get images big in size, I'm talking about width and height images from the internet, make sure that you make them or resize them appropriately because sometimes you end up with issues such as the ones that I just got here, okay? That's one thing that we just learned. Very nice, okay. So now, and I did that and I put the new image back, smaller image in size, and uh, I ran this. We noticed that it's actually going to work. There we go. Very nice. I'm thinking here to make this even cooler, we can actually get rid of our app bar at the top here, right? So what we can do, let's go to our styles. At the top here where it says dark action bar, I'm going to go ahead and say no, no action bar at all. Let's say and run. Oh, it's much, much better, right? It takes a lot of space, but at least it's really, but you notice that now we have that. So how about move this a little bit to probably down a little bit so we have a little more space, space at the top. So let's go back to our activity here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just say, let's give it a padding of about 25 dp. Save, give it a run. There we go. I like this much better because we gave it padding of about 24 of our inside of our view, inside of our screen here, inside of our constraint layout. And now you notice this is inside here. It's a little bit to the bottom, so it's not right to the top. Okay, it's very nice. I kind of like the way it's looking, right? So the next thing we're going to do here is add our tab layout, which will allow us to use a view pager to go scroll left and right. And as we scroll left and right, once we have added the location, we're going to get all of the information from that location pertaining to the weather, uh, the highs and lows and, and all of those descriptions. Okay, all right, so we'll do that in the next video.